Hello everyone. In our revision lesson today, let's discuss the key study by Oreck et al. Now this key study that was conducted by Oreck et al in 1997 was about the association analysis of genetics when it comes to depressive disorder. Now, before we begin, remember, I've been using the word key study for this particular study. Now, about these key studies, after your syllabus changed in 2024, after the syllabus changed in 2024, these key studies, they have been of immense importance, immense uh, significance. Now, for the five different key studies that you have in each unit, that is a key study for schizophrenia, a key study for mood disorders, a key study for uh, for impulse control disorders, a key study for anxiety disorders, and the key study for the last unit that is obsessive compulsive disorder. There are a couple of things that I'd want everyone to keep in mind. And remember, knowing all of this for a key study is pretty essential. So for a key study, remember, you need to have a thorough understanding of the context of the study. The context of the study Along with the context, the main theories or the explanations, along with that, the aim or the aims, the hypothesis or the hypotheses, along with that, the design of the study, which we typically refer to as the study design, which includes all of research methodology, the data collection method, the sample size, sample demography. If it is known, the sampling technique. The procedure. The data collection techniques, so on and so forth. So it is pretty important that you know all of this for a particular key study. Along with this, the results, the findings, the conclusion, main discussion points, along with evaluative aspects. Now, all of this needs to be known for a particular study, for a particular key study, because you might end up getting direct questions on them, right? So taking this ahead, the question is, the question that we have in front of us is from March, 2024, paper three, A2 psychology, the clinical psychology side. So the question over here reads, describe the study by Oreck et al. in 1997 on association analysis of the genetics of depressive disorder. For this particular question, we get nine minutes to be able to write this. And if we have a look at the guidance provided by the Cambridge, it says for any student to be able to score full marks, there should be an indication of the sample. That is the number of participants, the different groups that were there. Along with that, we need to know the results as well. And you need to write down that there was no significant association found or if there was any other specific result. This, All of this has to be present there in an answer for an answer to be able to score full marks. I have an answer written down over here. Through this answer, I'd want to help you revise with this particular study. So you may write, Oreck et al. conducted a study to investigate whether serotonin-related genes are linked to bipolar disorder. The study aimed to test the theory that genetic variations and serotonin receptor 2C, 5HR2C, and serotonin transporter 5HTT genes are associated with bipolar disorder. Now, you can count this as an introduction, but uh, more than introduction, I'd rather want to say that this tells this particular paragraph, tells us about the aim of the study without specifically writing down the aim. Number two, the sample consisted of let me just write down the sample over here. The sample consisted of 42 patients that were diagnosed with bipolar disorder type 1. The age ranged between 31 and 70 years. They were recruited from a Croatian clinic. The group included 25 females and 17 males. For comparison purpose, there were 40 healthy controls that were selected. This, Both of these groups, they were matched in terms of age and sex. If you have a look at the procedure of the study, 
the procedure involved genetic analysis. So there was genetic analysis. The procedure involved genetic analysis of DNA polymorphisms in the serotonin receptor and transporter genes. Researchers analyzed variations in these genes to determine their association with bipolar disorder. They analyzed variations in these genes. So we're talking about polymorphism over here. Moving on, if we talk about the results here. The results showed no significant association between the polymorphisms in the 5-HTR2C receptor gene and bipolar disorder in the total patient sample. However, 16 of the bipolar disorder patients had a positive family history of affective disorders. Now, what does this indicate? This indicates a potential genetic link. When the data was divided, when the data were divided by gender, there were trends suggested an association between both genetic polymorphisms and bipolar disorder in female patients. This implies that variation in serotonin related genes may slightly increase susceptibility to bipolar disorder in women. So what did we find out over here? Three major findings. The first finding was that there was no significant association found between the polymorphisms in the 5-HT2, uh, HTR2C receptor gene and bipolar disorder. The first significant result. Number two, there were 16 of the bipolar disorder patients who had a positive family history of affective disorder. And number three, when the uh, when the when the sample when the data was divided in terms of gender trends suggested that there might be an association between both genetic polymorphism and bipolar disorder in female patients now these were the three main results from this particular study moving on towards the conclusion in conclusion oracatol high oracatol study highlight that genetic factors particularly serotonin related gene polymorphisms may contribute to bipolar disorder though the influence is minor and appears more significant in females now without even putting up these headings we have ensured that our answer includes all of this now this answer is about i believe 222 225 words right so which which i think it's pretty doable and if practiced well, you can write down an answer of this sort in eight to nine minutes. I'd suggest you pause this, see, look at the time. I mean, pause the video over here, read this answer twice or thrice, and then start try and, and then try writing it on your own. Just see the amount of time that you take, right? Now, going back to the marking scheme of this question, the marking scheme of this uh, question suggests the aim of the study. The aim was to research the theory that serotonin genes are linked to bipolar disorder. There were 42 patients with bipolar type 1 from in and out patients of a clinic in Croatia. There were 25 females, 17 males, age 31 to 70 years. 40 healthy controls were used for a comparison. The sample was matched in terms of age and sex. If we talk about the procedure over here, there was a genetic analysis of DNA polymorphisms in the serotonin receptor 2C5HTR2C and serotonin transporter 5HTT gene. Now, a lot of students are Ask, what if we cannot recall this? It is okay. If you cannot recall them, it is okay. I mean, we cannot do much about it. But just remember, you can mention this and you might as well mention this, right? That makes, I hope that makes it a little easier for you. Now, if we have a look at the results over here, there was no significant association polymorphism in the receptor gene 5-HTR2C found in the total patient sample. 16 BPI patients had a positive family history or defined by at least one, one first degree relative suffering from major affective disorders. When the individuals were divided according to gender, trends for association with both polymorphisms in female patients were observed. These results suggested that variations in these genes may be responsible for a minor increase in susceptibility for bipolar disorders in women. Now, this particular, I mean, if I talk about content from here, this part to this part, this is less than 150 words. So you can easily add up 60, 70 words to actually shape the information that has been provided to you through the marking scheme into a proper answer, proper answer that could help you score six on six. Now, if I talk about this particular question, uh, uh, if I talk about this particular answer, and if I try comparing this with the 
uh, with the with the with the with the with the what do you call it the table that is the table a that is uh, the table that is used to be able to mark questions of this sort of this nature let me just show that table to you so that it gets easier for you to know that this answer is actually uh, capable of helping you score a 6 on 6 right now here is the marking criteria that is used by cambridge to award marks to students if we have a look at a level 3 response 5 to 6 marks what does this expect from us your answer should clearly address the requirement of the question description should be accurate and detailed the use of psychological terminology should be accurate accurate and appropriate your answer should demonstrate excellent understanding of the material right now let's see does this answer miss any of the information that uh, has been provided in the marking scheme to begin with right now this was the marking scheme this is the marking scheme right this is a marking scheme let us appear let it appear on the screen first yeah let, this is the marking scheme and based on this marking scheme what i said was we would be using this particular answer right so for the aim part does the uh, is the aim part there yes it is there is the sample there yes it is there is the procedure there yes it is there are the results there yes the results are pretty evident over here as well now does the answer that we have in front of us meet the criteria for full marks that was mentioned uh that was that was uh, mentioned in this part in this table okay so does it meet this criteria is what we are testing over here so to begin with this answer yes it clearly addresses the requirement of the question this particular response that you have in front of you it provides a clear and complete description of the study by oric et al 1997 which covers the aim the sample the procedure the results and the conclusion one number two this particular answer integrates all necessary details to ensure that the study is fully understood. Remember that these were requirements in the question, right? Now, these were the requirements in the question. Have a look at this. The description should be accurate. It should be pretty detailed, right? Now, moving on. The second thing, the description being accurate and detailed. Yes, the study design, the sample specifics and the results are accurately described with appropriate amount of detail. Remember, we have time reservations too. Anything beyond this might not be possible for any average student. Number three, the use of psychological terminology being accurate and appropriate. Now, there were terms used over here such as polymorphism, such as serotonin receptor, uh, 5-HT-R2C gene, such as serotonin transporter 5-HTT gene, and the word susceptibility, they're all used correctly and appropriately. So we're talking about, let me pick up a green pen over here. So we're talking about this, we're talking about this, we're talking about this, and this. Now, this usage of this is very clearly showing that psychological terminology is not only correctly used over here, but it is pretty appropriate as well. Towards the end, does the answer demonstrate excellent understanding of the material? Oh, yes, it does. This response very clearly explains the results and their implications as well, showing a thorough understanding of the study's findings and how they relate to the aim of the study. Now, moving on towards the final verdict for this, if we talk about this particular answer, this answer, I believe, meets the criteria for all six on six marks as it is accurate, as it is detailed, and it uses appropriate terminology while demonstrating an excellent understanding of the study. Now, I hope this has been helpful. You could use the same criteria to be able to write uh, descriptive answers for other key studies. In March 2024, you have been questioned on the study by Oric et al. You never know in the examination that you sit for, you might be asked to describe any other key study as well. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.